My name is Dr. Shalini Arya. I am specialist gynecologist and obstetrician. Diabetes in pregnancy is a very common and very prevalent medical condition and the incidence and prevalence is increasing day by day due to our bad life, uh, lifestyle, due to the epidemic of obesity. Two kinds of diabetes which have affect the pregnancy. The first is the diabetes which women already have. When they have diabetes and they are planning to conceive. The another one is when they develop diabetes first time in their pregnancy. The diabetes which is already is there with the pregnant with the woman and she's planning to conceive, we call the pre-gestational diabetes. In pre-gestational diabetes, women should know the importance of preconception counseling. When to go to the doctors when we plan they are planning to have a baby, because in first eight weeks when the baby forms organs, that the time organogenesis. We should know the level of the sugar should be within range to avoid multiple birth defects and the same time the sugar is controlled during conception the chances of miscarriages also become low. Sometimes women are on some, some medication which are not safe during pregnancy so we have to switch over to the different under the medication. So these important factors we should take care before the women they conceive and they are planning for the baby. The another diabetes we call the gestational diabetes and 90% women those diabetes the gestational diabetes in 90% women the gestational diabetes is more common with the pre-gestational diabetes because gestational diabetes we don't know the woman is diabetic and we come to know when they enter in their second trimester or we say when they finish their four months so the universal screening is very important in universal screening we screen all women at the time of their fourth or fifth month whether they are prone to develop diabetes or no so there is a special test we call that glucose tolerance test because pregnancy itself is a stress state so we call the women we take the fasting sample we check the blood sugar and fasting sample and then we give them a sugar syrup to drink and when they drink some 75 gram sugar and then we take the blood at first hour, second hour and third hour and we check what the level of sugars. So this way we screen those who are developing or those who have already. And the same time we counsel the women to know that what are the consequences of the gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Because the chances of birth defects, the chances of having a growth retardation in baby and the same time baby become macroscopic, macrosomic that we call the large baby and during the time of delivery it's kind of difficult delivery or traumatic deliveries and they end up to have a c-section also so these all complications can be avoided with timely intervention so my message to the women is first of all to change the lifestyle to make them very active and healthy, less sugar intake, especially the fine carb and all. And as we all know, the long-term consequences are also not good. 50 to 70 percent women develop the residual diabetes later in their life. They are more prone to have diabetes in the next 10 years or 15 years. Depends on. And some women who were on insulin during the time of delivery, they have more chances of developing diabetes very soon. So better to avoid post-pregnancy weight gain, more intake of fine car, more exercise, emphasize on more exercise and stay active and come to the pre-pregnancy weight and lose weight before you plan for the next baby. So always it's, it's a pleasure to be here and I am very grateful that I could share a bit of my knowledge with you all and it's always better because women are a very important part of our you know, society. So, First of all, they have to keep themselves happy to make the family happy, to make the society happy. Thank you so much.